2018 GMC Yukon XL. 2018 GMC Yukon XL Review on Expansive cargo space and classic V8 power make the Yukon XL an ideal, mission specific SUV. 3.5 star overall. The 2018 GMC Yukon XL's 9 passenger capacity and strong towing power make it ideal for big families and recreational activities. But the Yukon's imposing mass and traditional SUV design take a toll on maneuverability, fuel economy, and ride comfort. You expect as much in an SUV of this size. The utility is undeniable. Even with the third row seats deployed, it has 39.3 cubic feet of cargo space available. Fold down the second and third rows, and you've got a whopping 121 cubic feet of maximum cargo space at your disposal. If towing is your thing, the Yukon XL can lug up to 8,300 pounds. All of this makes the Yukon XL a fairly mission-specific vehicle. Sure, for a big SUV, we've found it easy to drive, as long as you're going straight. But navigating tight parking lots and city streets requires caution, calculation and some amount of faith in the space around the vehicle. There's also no escaping the Yukon XL's roots. The truck-based suspension can deliver the car-like ride comfort of a crossover. Nor is the Yukon a picture of efficiency with an EPA rated 18 miles per gallon combined for a base four-wheel drive version. Finally, the price premium attached to GMC vehicles is a little hard to justify given that the related Suburban has nearly all of the same features at a lower price. That said, the Yukon XL size, power and style will undoubtedly hit the mark for a very specific buyer. What's new? The 2018 GMC Yukon XL receives only minor changes. The Denali version comes with a new 10-speed automatic transmission that should slightly improve fuel economy and acceleration. Other changes include a new chrome grille design and a new Denali Ultimate package with 22-inch wheels, a sunroof and a large helping of tech add-ons. Even though the base SLE model can carry 9 passengers, it's limited in the features and options it offers. Between the standard and optional features, the mid-level SLT strikes a good balance of comfort, convenience and safety without going all in on a Denali trim. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 GMC Yukon XL is a full-size SUV offered in SLE, SLT and Denali trim levels. The smaller Yukon is covered in a separate review. The SLE base trim starts with a 5.3-liter V8 engine 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque paired to a 6-speed automatic transmission. Rear-wheel drive is standard, four-wheel drive is optional. Standard SLE features include 18-inch alloy wheels, fog lights, side steps, roof rails, front and rear parking sensors automatic wipers and a trailer hitch receiver with a wiring harness. Standard interior features include trees and automatic climate control, power adjustable front seats, and 60-40 split folding second and third row seats. Also included is a 110 volt power outlet, an 8-inch touchscreen interface, a rear view camera, Bluetooth, OnStar communications with a 4G LTE connection and Wi-Fi hotspot. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 9-speaker Bose audio system with CD player, satellite and HD radio and a USB input. GM's Teen Driver Monitoring System, which limits certain vehicle settings for young drivers, also comes standard. The optional Enhanced Driver Alert package adds forward collision alert with automatic low-speed emergency braking, a VIB Safe at Alert driver seat, automatic high beams and lane departure warning and intervention. The convenience package adds a power-operated lift gate, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, power-adjustable pedals and a universal garage door opener. The SLE also offers an optional front bench seat that increases capacity to 9 passengers. The SLT trim includes all of the features listed above and adds a hands-free lift gate, blind spot monitoring with a rear cross-traffic alert, keyless entry and ignition leather upholstery, a heated and power-adjustable steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats, heated secondra seats, power-folding second and third-row seats, and driver seat memory functions.
The top of the line Dean Litrim adds a more powerful 6.2 liter V8 engine, 420 horsepower, 460 lbft of torque, a 10 speed automatic transmission, 20 inch wheels, Xenon headlights, adaptive suspension dampers, a trailer brake controller, a head up instrument display, active noise cancellation, second row bucket seats, a navigation system a wireless smartphone charging pad and a 10-speaker surround sound audio system. The new for 2018 Dinoli Ultimate Package bundles 22-inch wheels, a sunroof, power side steps, adaptive cruise control, a rear seat entertainment system with DVD player, and an extended satellite radio and traffic information subscription, among other items. Many of the Dinoli's features are offered as options on SLT trims while options for SLE and SLT trims include 22-inch wheels and a heavy-duty trailering package unique axle ratio, trailer brake controller and a self-leveling suspension. Trim Tested Each vehicle typically comes in multiple versions that are fundamentally similar. The S and this review are based on our full test of the 2015 GMC Yukon XL Dimoli 6.2 liters V8, 6-speed automatic, 4WD. Note. Since this test was conducted, the current Yukon XL has received some revisions, including a new 10-speed automatic transmission for 2018 Dinoli trims. Our findings remain broadly applicable to this year's Yukon XL. Dot driving. The 6.2-liter V8 is powerful. There's ample lymph to move the Yukon rapidly. The Dinoli's adaptive suspension manages the solid axle suspension well. Acceleration. The 6.2-liter V8 sounds good and allows the Yukon to hit 60 miles per hour in 6.4 seconds. There's ample yank for passing at freeway speeds, too. Our test example had the previous 6-speed transmission. This year's 10-speed should slightly improve acceleration. Braking. Stopping from 60 miles per hour required 134 feet, which is average, if not long, for the class. In regular use. The brakes feel just okay with a relatively soft, long travel pedal. Many competitors will perform better. Steering. Steering weight is adequate if not a bit light. Steering feel is minimal, but response is decent. Keep the Yukon on open roads and steering is predictable and easy. Handling. The Dinali, with its adaptive suspension, is more controlled when going around turns than a standard Yukon XL or Chevy Suburban. The Yukon size and weight are there, but it manages pretty well considering those drawbacks. Drivability. Though its reactions are slow by the standard of smaller SUVs, the Yukon exhibits decent road manners. Off-road. The Dinoli's standard equipment includes a top-speed transfer case, though this isn't the kind of SUV you take off-road because of the big wheels, long wheelbase and running boards. Comfort. The Yukon Dinoli is a luxury SUV, and it treats its occupants accordingly. It is both quiet and comfortable. The solid axle rear suspension limits ride comfort. Entertainment features are abundant. Seat comfort. The front seats are both heated and ventilated and offer ample adjustability and good support. The second row seats are more than adequate for large passengers. Even the third row will accommodate adults. This is a big SUV. Space is its strength. Ride comfort. Body motions are well controlled in the Yukon Dinoli, though there is no denying the presence of big heavy wheels and a solid rear axle. Most drivers will be satisfied. Noise and vibration. Admirably quiet inside. Active noise cancellation works effectively in the Yukon to deaden interior noise. Wind and road noise levels are insignificant. This isn't Lexus quiet, but it's close. Interior. Materials and build quality are quite high, and there are many comfort and entertainment features. Navigation is standard on Dinali. Second and third row entertainment displays are available. Ease of use. A power tilt and telescoping steering column is standard, as are power adjustable pedals. The audio and climate control buttons and knobs are generously sized getting and jetting out. It's tall, but the big door openings, running boards and grab handles ultimately make the Yukon a pretty easy vehicle to get in and out of.
The power fouled in tumble second row makes for excellent access to the third row. Roominess. Abundant front and rear leg and headroom. Depending on seat position, the driver's elbow may make contact with the large center arm rest when steering. Otherwise, both second and third rows are on par or ahead of the competition. Visibility. Good view out of the front and sides. The windshield pillars are thin. A rear view camera, front and rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert come standard on the Denali trim. Quality. Except for Cadillac, any GMC and Denali trim is the best built vehicle to come from GM in recent memory. Perforated stitched leather seats are a nice touch. We witnessed no quality problems. Utility. This is where the Yukon XL truly shines. With massive cargo space, available 9 passenger seating and a maximum 8 comma 300 pound towing limit, the Yukon XL is nothing if not a master of utility. Cargo space. The Yukon XL has plenty of interior cargo space and a flat floor when the seats are folded. But the cargo area's lift over height is high, which can make it harder to load heavy items. Towing. A concealed receiver hitch is standard, and the Denali comes standard with trailer brake controller and sway control. Technology. A standard 8-inch touchscreen, Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, and a solid Bose audio system make the Yukon XL as connected as possible. Optional rear seat entertainment and a full suite of driver assistance features help the Yukon XL keep pace with its tech-minded rivals. Music